Hello, everybody. For the next few episodes, I'm going to be covering the toolbar, which is found right here. So once you've been putting things down into your timeline and you're ready to start editing, and this toolbar will provide a lot of different functions for this timeline here and doing some trimming, some editing in this timeline here. And let's talk about those things right here. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the selection tool right here. If you hover your mouse above any of these items on the toolbar, it'll quickly bring up a shortcut for it. You see it there in parentheses is the track select forward tool, and it is A for the shortcut. This one right here is simply V. If you move your mouse over here let's let's choose a different tool and it looks weird like this looks different make sure that you have your selection tool your selection tool is the standard basically if you hit the letter v as in victor it chooses your selection tool notice that is all blue now and over here we've got this arrow pointy arrow thingy here to start working this tool is basically in your timeline is a trim tool it's also a select tool and it's also a moving tool those three things it's basically trim select and move so first of all let's talk about the basics here let's talk about the select and move if you move your mouse over any one of these items here, I've got several cuts on my clips here, and you just click on one of these here, notice it selects it. If I move over here and select, it selects that. And notice sometimes when I'm selecting a video, it doesn't select any audio, but once in a while when I select a video, it selects an audio track with it as well. That means that these two clips here are still combined with some editing that's been done here. Some of these have been uh, separated and pulled off so they no longer belong to this clip here or no longer they're no longer linked to uh, the audio like this one here is no longer linked to the audio, this one as well. But this one here, I click on this and notice it selects both audio and video. So this is just a basic selection tool. Another way of selecting items down in your timeline is to drag a marquee. Now to drag a marquee, say we want to select a range of clips here. We can start over the clip. Say I want to select from here on. So I'm going to look at this audio and video clip here and, and select everything from there on. Uh, by the way, if you're zoomed up on this, let's say we're zoomed up on this clip and I want to select everything from here on. There's some other ways to select everything, but one quick way of doing this is hitting the slash key above your return key, which shows your entire timeline. And now you can click and make sure you click above the clip outside where you're not grabbing onto a clip because some people will try to drag this. Let's drag a marquee here. I'm going to click and drag and notice it drags this box and selects everything within that box and that box is touching and within and inside of that box and now all those items are selected right there now be careful when you're selecting when you're doing a marquee because some people think you can start right here and they'll try to click and start dragging a marquee and look what it does it just moves it and it just messed everything up so i'm going to undo that and once again click up here in the area where there's nothing or down here where there's nothing and click and drag a marquee and now that is selected okay now that we've got all those selected let's talk about moving here this this tool also moves. Once something's been selected, this whole range of clips has been selected. You can see how those are highlighted and these ones are not. If I move my mouse over any one of these clips here, let's select this one here, click and you start dragging to the left. Notice it moves all those clips. It's moving all those. Then when I let go, it just moved them all down to the point where I uh, drag them to. If I want to move those back, I can click and drag here to the left. My snap is turned on, so it snaps to the edge and it's back to where it was before. If I want to move a single clip, you can click and drag and it will move this clip right there and I drop it over there and now notice it pulled it and moved it over here grab it drag it over there so pretty simple anything you grab and move it just moves it around the next part with the selection tool here is also trimming trimming means to basically lengthen or shorten a clip that's already on your timeline let's go to the end clip here I'm going to zoom I'm going to hit plus plus on the top of my keyboard and zoom up and take a look at this clip here I'm, I'm closer up on this clip now now when I move my mouse to the end of this clip look what happens to my arrow right there at the edit point it becomes a red arrow that points to the left. Now, if I, that means uh, this will be editing this clip's out point. It's pointing in toward, it's pointing toward this clip right here, right there. If you're pointing outwards right there, that's going to do nothing. And you can also move this a little bit to the right, and it does outwards there, because that's going to show that you're going to drag it outwards. And this extends the clip, uses the handles on this clip to extend that edit. and extends the edit out here on the timeline, so now it will play longer. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to trim it backwards. And if you want to trim it shorter here, you can once again grab it and drag it to the left, and it trims short. Now it will cut off before it reaches the end of this audio clip. I'm going to grab that and trim it back to where it was. Let's move into these clips right here. All right, so the trim clip, it's got a little bit, bit of a limitation depending on if other clips are hitting into it. If we move to this edit right here, and I point the arrow, the arrow toward the left, that means it's going to edit this clip over here, that one's out point. If I move it right there, it's going to edit this clip's in point. So if I get it right here and I can grab it and drag it to the right, it trims that over and edits that clip's in point. If I grab it and drag it back, it does vice versa, it extends it. But now, notice what happens is if I try to extend this clip to the left and notice when I grab this clip here it's doing the audio as well because these clips are still linked so when I grab this one and trim it it's going to automatically trim the audio as well 
So I'm going to grab this clip here, and if I drag it and trim it to the left, it just shortened that clip and the audio clip as well. But now watch what happens as I drag it to the right, and once it hits this other clip right there, it stops. It will not let me, if I click and try to drag, it will not let me extend that clip over to the right. It will not be able to eat into a clip to the right or to the left. That's one of the limitations of the selection tool here, using it as a trim tool. One other quick little shortcut here is, now say we've, we grab a linked clip and we want to edit just the video and maybe not the audio. Watch this as I grab this and I trim it to the left and notice how it trims the audio as well. Say I want to leave the audio there. I'm going to click Control Z and undo. If you want to just trim the video here, you can do one of two things. First of all, you can lock your audio right here with the lock and now you can grab it and trim it. Notice it doesn't touch the audio. I'm going to undo that unlock or and unlock this. Now another way of doing that here, a kind of a shortcut without having to go over and lock your tracks, is you can just hold down Option or Alt and grab this and trim it. And that way it will, while you're holding down the Option or Alt and trimming, it releases any other clips that it's linked to. Notice if I grab this audio here and trim, it's linked to that video there. I'm not holding Option or Alt right now. So you notice how it's trimming the both video and audio and I want to do the audio separately. Hold down Option or Alt and click and drag it and it will do it completely separate. It, unlink, it temporarily unlinks those files so you can trim them. And one other little shortcut here with, with your selection tool. We showed you kind of how to move things as, as well as doing trimming. But one other little thing that this does here, if you grab a clip, and this clip is once again separated from audio and video here, and this clip is uh, deselected from its video clip. If I grab this clip and obviously just drag it up, it's going to move it upwards. I'm going to undo that. Now watch what happens when I hold down Option or Alt on my keyboard. I'm holding it down and I grab this clip and drag it upwards. Look what it does. It duplicates the clip. If you're trying to duplicate a clip, that's just kind of a quick shortcut. Let's grab this uh, clip here. I'm going to and now a different clip here. If I select this one, notice it's got the audio and video linked here. If I hold down Option and actually put the mouse over the audio and drag it down, it duplicates the audio and ignores the video. If I grab the video here and hold down Option and drag it up, it duplicates the video. So just kind of another quick little feature there that uh, the selection tool does by dragging and holding down Option. One other little thing here with moving video clips is holding down the control or command key. Now, first of all, I'm going to select this range of clips and say I want to move these to the beginning. If I just grab them, simply grab them right now, not holding down any uh, modifier keys or anything that, like that on the keyboard. I'm just grabbing it with the mouse and dragging them over and I drop them there. It performs an override edit. It basically drops it here and eats into everything in its path. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to select these clips again. I'm going to grab it and this range of clips and start moving it over. Now watch what happens. I move this over here and I'm going to hold down the control key or the command key on a Mac. If I do that, look what happens. At the beginning of this range of clips, it uh, has this little line with those four little arrows pointing to the right, which basically turns this into an insert edit. If I drag this to the beginning here, right there and drop it, and now I let go of the control or command key. After I let, go the, I let go of the mouse first, then let go of the control key. What it does is an insert edit instead of an overwrite. It drops it and shoves everything else over. One quick refresher. If I could just grab this and simply drag it over and drop it, it just ate into everything in its path. If I grab this, drag it over, and then hold down, before I let go of the mouse, hold down control, then let go of the mouse, then let go of control, it inserts edit. It does an insert edit and shoves everything else out without deleting it. So this is really helpful if you're trying to move like a range of clips to the center or something like that. If we want to move them right here, hold down control, let go of my mouse, let go of control, then it inserts them in the middle of uh, those clips right there and shoves everything else out. On the next episode, we'll be covering the track select forward and the track select backwards tools.